Uh, about six months ago, I uploaded a video tutorial on a very popular game recording program called Fraps. Now, in those six months, the video has um, 4,753 views, and there's a bunch of questions that you guys are asking about Fraps, and I've kind of been forced to disable the comment option for this video because there are so many questions about this and that, uh, questions that I can't really answer if I'm not um, able to see what's going on on your computer. So what I decided to do is make a video on the frequently asked questions about this um, program. So here they are. Why can't Fraps record more than 30 seconds? The reason why your Fraps can't record more than 30 seconds is because you have the limited version. If you want your Fraps to record for as long as you want, then um, I suggest you download the full version. And if you want to know how you can download the full version for free, go ahead and do some YouTube search and you'll find good videos on that. Second question, why can't I upload a Fraps video to YouTube? That's because Fraps videos are huge in size. Um, a five minute Fraps video can be over two gigabytes in size, so you need to compress them using some sort of video compression program like Virtual Dub, Windows Movie Maker, or programs like that. Third question, why can't Fraps record audio? Well, there can be a few reasons for that first reason, uh, which is basically the most common reason why your Fraps doesn't record audio, is because the record sound option is probably unchecked. So if you want to record sound, click on that. Make sure that the sound recording option is enabled. Also right here, make sure that detect best sound input is checked, because that's the best setting if you want to record sound from a game. Now, if all these settings are set correctly and you still aren't able to record audio, then make sure that uh, some of your system sound settings are not messed up. Um, if you've been messing with the settings, then there might be a good chance that that's the reason why you can't record sound. Usually, the default settings allow you to record sound from your games. Next question, how do you get Fraps to record from the microphone? Well, I'm not quite sure because I never tried this, but I think that um, this option here, use Windows input, is supposed to be checked. Try this. If that doesn't work, then you probably can't record uh, from microphone using Fraps. Next question, can I record a video of activities on my desktop? Now the answer to this question is usually no because Fraps only records ActiveX and OpenGL applications. Now you definitely can't record from your desktop in Windows XP and older versions of Windows. I'm not sure about other operating systems uh, and I'm not sure about Windows Vista but if it's not an OpenGL application or an ActiveX application then you can't record it using Fraps. If you want to record activities from your desktop, then uh, it's better to use a program like Cam Studio, Camtasia Studio, Hypercam, or similar programs. Next question, why can't Fraps record all types of games? Now, this is one of those questions that I don't really have an accurate answer to. Um, again, if it's not a, an OpenGL or ActiveX application, if it's not one of those types of games, then you won't be able to record it. Um, um, always check that your FRAP settings aren't messed up, because usually, um, usually, the reason why you can't record is because some basic setting is messed up, maybe by accident. So make sure that that's not the case. Next question: When I press the record hotkey, nothing happens. Why? Again, usually. The reason for this is because you got the hotkeys messed up. Make sure that uh, you know what hotkey to use to record, um, to benchmark, or to take a screenshot.
Make sure you don't hit the wrong hotkey and make sure that Fraps is running in the background because that is essential. Next question, why does the game stutter while playing and recording with Fraps? Um, I'm pretty sure the, the reason why the game stutters is because of the um, frames per second settings here. I think that the less frames per second that you uh, enable, the slower the video is going to go. The more you choose, it's going to go faster. It's best to use 25 uh, to 30 frames per second, in my opinion. So, that's that. Next question. How do you make the video less laggy? Now, it's pretty hard to get the video to be less laggy. One thing that you can do is um, make sure that the no sync option is not checked because no sync will make the video uh, unsynchron unsynchronized uh, between the video and the audio. Also, try experimenting with the uh, different frames per second options and see which one suits you best. If your video is extremely laggy, then there might be um, uh, there might be a problem with your sound card or your video card. So make sure that you have the latest drivers installed on those. Next question: How do you pause fraps? Well, I'm pretty sure that you can't pause fraps. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can't. When you started the recording, the next time you press that recording hotkey, the video is going to be stopped. And the next time you press the hotkey, um, that's going to be for a separate video. So then you're going to have to use some sort of video editing program to put them together. Maybe Windows Movie Maker or Sony Vegas or something. Now the next question is a really tricky one. Uh, I have installed Fraps, but when I double click on the icon, nothing happens. Why? Well. The reason for this is because you probably had the demo version installed before the full version. And when you install the demo version, certain entries are made into your system registry uh, that won't allow you to open um, any new full version of Fraps that you might install. What you have to do is delete those entries from your registry, but that's the tricky part. Messing around with your system registry is very very risky and uh, you can come into the situation where you totally ruin your computer. Now if you go to Google and you type in fraps won't start or similar um, um, you might find a lot of um, pages that describe this problem and there this, there's this one particular website from www.hardform.com which offers a solution which is not that simple, but I'll provide um, a link to this site in the video description and you can take a look at it and see if you want to use these um, suggestions. I haven't tested them, um, but if you're going to use them then um, you need to use them at your own risk. So if something goes wrong, nobody is responsible except your own self. But like I said, you can first do some Google research on this because there are a lot of forums and web pages. And on to our last question. How long can a Fraps video be? Well, basically, if you have the full version of Fraps, there should be no limitation to your videos. Uh, basically, your videos will be limited by the capacity of your hard disk. So you can record for as long as you want, but the longer the videos are, uh, more memory is going to be taken. So yeah, you can record long fraps video, but um, it's not recommended because you might experience system crashes um, and instability. If you have any different questions that weren't covered in this video, then I suggest that you go to the fraps website. Uh, and go to the frequently asked questions section and find uh, your question there or just check out some of the countless forums on fraps that are on the internet and see if you can find your answer there